All right, hey guys, this is Greg Poe, physics engineering teacher. I'm gonna to talk to you all about Edpuzzle. So Edpuzzle is not new by any means. In fact, I know that there are a lot of teachers at our school that uses it. I have never used it. Uh, so I think that you'll find this interesting. So what this is, is you get, uh, I mean, just like what it's called here, making a video your lesson. You get any YouTube video or make your own video. And instead of just giving it to the kids to watch, they have to answer like multiple choice questions. So, and then it like grades them on watching them. So you know how you as an educator are often sent videos to watch and you don't watch them, you just skip to the end and answer questions. I would never do that, of course, of course. But uh, anyways, uh, that kind of stuff doesn't really work. It's not gonna work on your kids either. So Edpuzzle kind of forces them to actually watch your videos. I know a lot of you guys wanna film your own videos during this break that we have. I shouldn't call it a break. During uh, this uh, six week, uh, whatever you call it, uh, you want your kids to do videos. This could be a good way to force them to listen, okay? So once you get to Edpuzzle, you log in. Um, you can actually type in Henry M. Jackson High School, and you can look at all your colleagues who are uh, doing it. So apparently Emily Borden makes a lot of these. Who else? Look at all these great teachers. Don't mind me. I actually have never really made one, so uh, I'm not actually good. But anyways, uh, so you can uh, look at what they've made, and it's instantly shared to you because you're in the same school. You can also look at videos and curriculum um, you can like type whatever you want. Like I found a bunch for magnetism earlier, okay? And you make classes uh, and you kind of, it's kind of like Google Classroom, how you like want to invite kids and they type in a code or they just get a link. Uh, what you can do is just message or email them a link and it signs them all up automatically. So uh, I've been messing around for a while, so I already have these two students in my class, okay? So I'm gonna show you all first how to add a video. Now, to add a video, uh, let's see, it's under content. Go to my content. Isn't there a way to add? Yeah, yeah. So you can add content right here. Uh, what you can do, though, is just find a uh, video online you like. I mean, you could, you could create your own and upload your own. Uh, but you could also just get a YouTube link, copy that. Like I wanted this James Madison documentary. Go into here and search content. And boom, you have the video that you want. You can splice it if you want it to be shorter or whatever, and then you add your questions, okay? So let's say, at this point here, 37 seconds, I want there to be a multiple choice question. Who dis? James Madison, that's the right answer. And then I could say James K. Polk, wrong answer. Anyways, you can add more answers, you can make multiple right if you want. Anyways, blah, 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 blah. Okay, continue. Okay, now a couple of things. I think I finish it, and then it gives me these options. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's say I want to assign it to my class, and I want it to be my first period history class. Now, this is cool, I think. Look down here. You can prevent kids from skipping, which I'm sure they will find to be very annoying, but they cannot skip at any point. They can't skip questions. They can't skip to the end. Let's say they've answered all the questions. They have to keep on watching the video. Uh, there's nothing they can do. Uh, CC, I guess that's subtitles or something. Um, and you can set a due date. So I'm gonna assign this to my class. And there you go. And I can see neither of them have watched it. So now I'm going to go to a student view. And uh, okay, the student needs to refresh his page. Let's see if there's any due assignments. Oh, I have to watch this James Madison thing. Okay, so I'm going to watch this. And I really want to do that question, but I can't skip to the question. Oh no, so annoying. Anyways, and the teacher view, pause that. And the teacher view will tell you uh, how far these people have gone. So apparently the student, Scott Dyer Smells, has not gotten very far. They'll tell you their grades and stuff like that. Uh, I think that's about it. Um, enjoy. I think this will make uh, your video lessons even more effective. I'm definitely going to use it. I'm excited about it.